today we are here at Stockholm, Sweden and our cruise has two days here so we have two days to visit and two days to see what are the places that you can visit if you're here in Stockholm, Sweden. Stockholm is the capital city of Sweden and this is where the king lives, this is the main capital so you will see a lot of things to do, a lot of places to visit, different restaurants and we're just excited that we are here for two days. And we also gonna show you how to travel around the city using their um, Slusen or SL for a day. So this one's actually good for buses, train, and ferry. And in our cruise, they actually recommended the sightseeing tour or the half and half of bus, which is beneficial, especially for people who just want to make sure that they just enjoy the city. But for us, as I already said, we want to show you how to utilize their public transportation. Also, to save money. Yes. We're now here at the entrance of the Royal Palace and to the tickets is actually 18 euros per person or 180 krona. In Royal Palace actually located here in the center near the Gamlan Stan. Yes. So when you're here just make sure you, you can also visit inside the Royal Palace. And if you wanted to have a guided tour, check the schedule because they have schedule for any for the royal apartments. And also there's another tour for a different section. So, but you have to pay extra 30 krona if you want to include the guided tour. We just watched the change of guards here in the Royal Palace. It started at noon and it finished at 12.45. And it's fun to watch. It's the grandest change of guards ever. You have to watch it and it's free. One place to visit here in Stockholm, Sweden is the Royal Palace. The Royal Palace is where the king lives and it has more than 600 rooms. And make sure you also watch the change of guards at night. Another place to visit here in Stockholm is the Stockholm Cathedral. Uh, to get into the cathedral is 75 krona or around 750 or 8 dollars. And this is near the Royal Palace which is across the gift shop. So really close together. Just stop. There you go. Are you going, are you going to Basel Museum? Near, near. Near, okay. You can walk a little bit. Okay, okay. Um, you will uh, you will see when you see the boat, oh, the boat. you will okay. understand. But I, I will tell you. I think. Okay, so thank you. So we are in the public bus and this is our car. It's $31 or I think 130 crop. I know it's not. It's 16 euros for the whole day and then we could ride bus, tram, even the ferry. So I think it's a good one, but of course you have to walk further rather than the half and half off. But at least you have the control on the time and it's up to like 1 a.m. Okay, 
So we're here in the Vasa Museum, which is the highly recommended museum here in Stockholm. So you can you will find here the biggest ship or Viking ship before and here. I think it's this. Is that with the guide? Okay. Now at two o'clock in English. English. Two o'clock. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Here in Vasa Museum, they have a free guide, which is 2 o'clock p.m. for English. I'm not sure if they had in the morning. And it's included when you purchase your ticket for 190 krona, or around 19 to 20 dollars. Inside the Vasa Museum, if you don't want to take the guide, you may go on your own and explore, because they have information on each, air, on different areas of the ship. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to pass the time. We are in 80, number 80 ferry boat. And it is also part of the public transportation. We're going to the, I forgot, but to the city center. <laughs> and we're not in rush to anything, so we just want to try and explore the city. If you are hungry and looking for a place to eat here in Stockholm, you have to check this Salu Hall. You are you can find different types of restaurants, cafeterias, and this is mostly of like where the locals eat. So it's cheaper and good. Thank you. Going to Central Island? Yes. On the right? I, thought, I know it's included, but it didn't open, so you have to check the cashier. So now we're going to Metro. Subway. Oops, I don't know. So we just went to the train to go to the ice bar and I can tell that locals are really utilizing their uh, public transportation which is very efficient. Oh my god, so much to see here in Stockholm. Yeah. I can't even imagine we're it's it's already 5 pm. Good thing we're over we're overnight here. And we feel like we haven't visited all of I mean we even haven't half. we haven't even visited half of it so it's really, really a big city. So we're here in the ice bar, in the ice bar Stockholm Hotel. And they said this is one of the attractions here. Because you're gonna go inside a very cold place, and then there's a glass made up of ice, and you're gonna drink. So we'll see. We are here at the Stockholm Ice Bar Hotel in Stockholm. So basically, uh, Maria and I just tried this. But anyway, we uh, wanted to show you guys how the ice bar um, the area is just uh, really really small but the, the vibe is just like um, you know you're really in the bar the vibe is cool because it's cold <laughs> so it's negative seven degrees here and then it will gives you this coat so it keeps you warm so the entrance fee again what is it entrance fee is about 220 220 um, kronas 
and we pay for more or less like 400 uh, 40 450 for both of us and that's included the drink that's already included one drink so if you want to drink more you have you're gonna have to pay and I'm not really sure how much so right now our people starts coming in and getting their drinks and it, and there's uh, music actually it changes the lights is changes also and they have their own bar that made with real ice so it's real thick ice everything here is made with ice your glass your seat your table yes. your chairs everything is ice yes except the lights <laughs> Even the even yeah even the, your sunglasses you know. yeah so made with ice so if you're here in Stockholm better check this out ice bar hotel Stockholm. Okay, come on in. Our <laughs> street in Gamla style. Akasha naman pala tayo. So we're back on the ferry and we're maximizing our SL Day ticket pass. We're going to the Jew Garden and we'll probably do another more round trip. There's another stop, I forgot the name. There's another island and we're gonna come back here. Um, I wish there are more ferries at night so we can see the whole land of Stockholm. Stockholm must be seen through by the boat. Because you'll see how beautiful. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. It's so beautiful. Night pa. Lights are. 